What is up guys, welcome back to my channel, GG4X. On today's video, we're gonna be talking about the volatility reversal strategy that I learned through smart charts. Now, as you can remember from the last video I did, I've had, I did three trades after my crash course on how to execute each of the five strategies correctly, what I need to look for, on all that sexy stuff and insider knowledge that I'm gonna share with you guys. The volatility reversal, there are three main ways you can trade or three main market conditions you can use this strategy on. And it worked across most time frames: the five minute, the 15 minute, the one hour, the four hour, and the daily. Yeah, it's pretty good, right? So we're gonna smash this. Let me draw whiteboard, see? You're getting professional now. <laughs> right, so the main one you'd use a volatility reversal for would be either a double top. So let's just say, Smart charts on their strategy gives you a signal of a downwards arrow. So that means what we need to look for, we need to look for a roof or a ceiling or whatever. So that'll look like, so the charts will be doing this. Here, here. And then what we wanna look for, let's say it, we're around here at the moment, what we wanna see before we can enter this trade is for the market to come up here again and then we'll look for that signal, the down arrow will be there. That way we have confirmation. It's come up to this look, this price line, this zone. I don't want to call it a line, it's never really a direct line. This zone, it's hit it once, it's hit it twice, it's come back, it's hit it again. The probability, because obviously trading is all about probability, the probability of it would be going down. So your stop loss will probably be up here. The entry point would be on that resistance line as it breaks through, and you'll take profit would be roughly there. So that's for a double top, for a down arrow signal. Now let's, what you do when smart charts gives you a signal of ugh, an upwards arrow. So let's say, smart charts say, look, you wanna put a buy option in here. What do you need to look for? Well, kind of the same as a double top, you're looking for a floor. Where does it come down to? So you might charts, might come up here, bang, come up here again, bang, bang. So what we're gonna look for, we'll look for double bottom. So it's hit here, it's hit here, and it's hit here again. What's the probability of it going up? Well, you need to use other rules, but what we're looking for is the price has hit the zone, came back off, hit the zone, came back off, hit the zone, and we're saying it's gonna come back off again, using price structure, um, or market structure, and price action. So those are all different strategies that you could use to back up what you're looking at in a volatility reversal, so you need to learn the basics first. But this strategy is what it's doing, is you're looking for double tops, double bottoms, or in the third market condition, because again, what we're looking for is trend reversal in the volatility reversal. So another example would be, the trend is going up, boom, boom. And let's say, this is a ceiling, we didn't know it existed, but now there's a ceiling. It's coming down, and now we've got a lower low. This is a low that's gone past this point, so it's going to go up. It's done that again. Let's say it breaks it, comes back up, and now it's hit this zone again. It's hit this zone again. So, what we got? We've got a head, shoulders coming down. So, we're probably saying it's going to come down again. Okay, so that's basically what double top and double bottoms are. And now the third which is kind of my favorite, because at the moment with the coronavirus, no one really knows what's going on. It's kind of a, it's very volatile. There's a lot of ranges going on, especially in a lot of currency pairs, there's quite a few ranges. So what I mean by a range, is you got a ceiling or a top, and you got a floor, you got a bottom, the price is just bouncing around in here. No one really knows what's going on, but what we want to do is we want to be trading on the extremes of the range. And we want to be targeting our take profit in the middle. Why? Because we don't know when the market's here that it's going to go all the way down. It might only go halfway and then come back up and then break through and start a new trend. So the reason why we target the middle is because it's the highly probability that the price is going to reach there. You know? So that's basically how we trade the volatility reversal. I'll then go into the charts and show you what I look for before I even think about placing a trade. Okay, so let's go on my computer. Okay guys, so what am I looking for? I'm at the, as you can see, I'm in a trade at the moment doing a volatility reversal. So far it's working out, it's going great. 
So what do I look for? How do I, how do I lay out my charts? Well, what I like to do, I like to have the daily on the left hand side of the chart or left hand side of the screen and I like to have my action chart on the right hand side of the screen just because it's like reading a book left to right it just makes more sense so what I'll do I'll click on smart chart strategy section I'll go over to the volatility reversal and I'll see what's flashing now I like to do top-down analysis so what I mean by that is I'll start on a higher time frame so I'll go to the daily and what I'm looking for it's obviously these are two daily charts, but it'll make sense. <laughs> what I'm looking for, as I said before, smart charts. If it's going to give me a up arrow or a down arrow, I need to be looking. If it's an up arrow, I need to be looking for a floor. If it's a down arrow, I need to be looking for a ceiling. Now, as you can see here, we have got a down arrow. So what we're we looking for, we are looking for a ceiling or a roof or whatever you want to call it. We're looking for price to hit it, bounce off, hit it, bounce off, hit it, bounce off. Now this is saying that you want to be going for a sell position that's hitting the near roof. As you can see, it has hit this price here, but it's not solid. It's not a, uh, a solid roof. It's quite soft. It's been broken through a few times, so I won't take this trade. I'll just simply move on. Uh, same here. It's could be a good signal to be honest because if you have a look at the bigger picture on the left hand side of the screen price really hasn't got higher than this point um stochastic is saying it is overbought so the likelihood of it going down is quite high um but mm, right now there we see when there's news when's the news coming out? news is coming out in a day's time there's a daily chart so I'm a bit cautious about the news. I'm not entirely happy about this. Maybe if it gives me the same signal on a lower time frame, I'll, I'll take it. Because if you have a look here, you have got a high test bar that has pushed down, which is saying that the sellers are in control. Um, it's almost hitting the sell, sell entry point as well. So this trade is looking good, but right now I just want to leave it just in case I can be able to get on a lower time frame because again I'm a day trader I don't want to be holding these trades overnight and paying all these fees etc so let's go on the four hour now we've gone through the daily time frames again you can clearly see that oh there is no floor here it's been broken so we move on again not really a floor i mean as you look at the bigger picture it's just been consolidating it's kind of like not a lot of movement has happened um i wouldn't be comfortable placing this trade and the take profit isn't in the middle of the range the buy the sell entry is in the middle of the or the buy entry is in the middle of the range not the take profit so it's not in an ideal position it's to not follow our rules so we'll simply move on euro swiss i've heard a lot of bad things about this about the swiss manipulating their currencies for whatever reason i'm not entirely sure but if you have a look at the bigger picture on the left we are clearly in a downwards trend and then we've got this random spike so for me wanted to put a buy in here i wouldn't want to go with that i want to go with the trend and put a sell in maybe if price reaches above this point up here but as it stands i'll just walk away from this I'm not comfortable trading the Euro Swiss pairs. Let me know what you guys think in the comment box below. <clears throat> Again, with this one, we're looking for a floor. There isn't really a floor. I mean, there could be because it's hit this point. It's kind of a, like a supply and demand zone, but it's already triggered its uh, entry point. So it's already happened, we'll walk away. Now, obviously this is a trade arm in the four hour trade. Again, it's already triggered, but as you can see, the price has hit this point, broken down, it's wicking out, wicking out, wicking out this point. It had a huge sell off, come back to this same point, wicking out, wicking out, wicking out at this point. So I've got my sell entry in and it's triggered it. This, I've moved my take profit down a bit because I feel like I can get a little bit more. What I will do is when the price passes past this green line, I'll just move my stop loss down um, near it. So I'll just ride the movement all the way down. I probably won't come out the trade until the stochastic hits oversold but yeah that's my plan for this one so far that trade's going really well on the four hour chart right let's have a look on the one hour see what's flashing no strategies flashing on the one hour 30 minute 
my strategy again. Again, we're looking for double tops. As you see, it's broken for it again, kind of broken, it's not a solid roof, so we'd walk away. Cable. Um, it looks, it looks like a good trade. Um, it is overbought at the moment, so the likelihood of it coming down is higher. But if you have a look to the left on the daily chart, there, the really you want to be selling up here. You don't want to be selling down here. I mean, it could be a start of a 180 phase change. This could be a downwards trend. We could see phase one, phase two, phase one. But as a volatility reversal, it just doesn't meet my rules. So I'll walk away from this trade. Again, we're looking for a roof. It's been broken many times. Walk away. I mean, it is okay if you look on a daily chart, it is quite high. But on the action chart, on the 30 minute chart, I feel like our stop loss will get hit very easily. Um, and it's kind of in no man's land on a stochastic as well. So again, I'd walk away. Looking at 15, see what's flashing. Looking for a solid roof. Mm, no solid roof really. If you look on a daily chart, we're actually in an upwards trend. So putting a buy option, a sell option in here just wouldn't work out. It's just going against the tide. It's going against market direction. Again, we're just surfers, guys. We just want to ride the momentum of the markets. We are too small to make any moves in this whatsoever. Remember, it's owned by the banks. It's not owned, but it's dominated by the banks and the hedge funds who've got billions. <laughs> Again, we're looking for a roof. There isn't really a roof. It's been broken twice, so this really wouldn't be where I'd want to place it. I mean, it is good, but I wouldn't want to enter here. I'd rather enter up there. Same one again on a lower time frame. You could take the risk on a lower time frame, but I don't want to take these risks. Um, I feel like it would, but I wouldn't be comfortable having my take profit down there. I feel like it should be up here somewhere. So it might not be worth the reward to risk ratio, especially if you've got a smaller account and you're trying to grow it you want to be going with the high probability trades straight out the gate. So now we're looking for a floor. Um, it's not very strong. As you see here, the signal has been broken once, been broken twice, broken three times. So again, I really wouldn't want to be putting in a buy, buy option here to take profit up here where it may never go. Because you have, if we look left in the last couple of days, well, day or two, it hasn't even reached that high yet. So the probability of it going that high again is very slim. Again, we're looking for probability, guys. And look for the 15-minute chart. CAD yens. So we're looking for a ceiling. What does it take profit? Ah, oh, it's a buy option. So now we'll walk away from that. Sell option. So we're looking for a ceiling. Hmm. It is overbought. It is in a downwards trend. Um, so this could be a good trade, but again, it's broken through this high many times. So again, I wouldn't want to be, I wouldn't be comfortable trading this setup. US Swiss is saying it's going to be a buy and I'm doing a sell for the short five minute gain. So the overall picture on that is a four hour and that'll be fine. So guys, that is what I look for when I do a volatility reversal. I look for uh, double tops, double bottoms, or if it's in a range, and I like to use the daily chart along with all the other time frames to get a better picture on what the, what the bigger picture is, okay? So it might look great on your small time frames, but actually on the daily, you could be going in an upwards trend, so you might be going against everything, okay? So that's what I like to do. Let me know in the comment box below if you found this helpful or if you've tried this strategy before and you failed or this has like opened up new little rules that you can add to your current strategies that you're looking for. Let me know in the comment box below. That would be really great. And again, thank you for watching, guys. I love you all. If you hit the like, comment and subscribe button, that will be perfect as well. So I'll see you on the next one for another strategy.